morning welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back at the bundaberg bag company so about a week and a half ago luke called me and said that i've got some bags that if he can go down and get a photo of i contacted the bundaberg bag company luke said something about some special bags or something that he's making up maybe there's a new bag i noticed on the drifter website that he's got a lower bag with a handle on we're here now I'm really excited. You guys are going to follow me. So we're going to go inside the factory there now. I've just come inside. I didn't know what to expect. There might be a new bag design, maybe a smaller one. I saw Luke did some uh, bags that are a bit smaller. So I hope you can hear me over the noise of the machine there. So I walked in. Okay, so I'm in, obviously I'm inside the factory now after I've done the short intro out the front and I walked in to find <laughs> Luke had set up a bit of a surprise for me check out this <laughs> good one Luke <laughs> you got me there <laughs> like that's awesome I walked in and I looked and I looked and I thought, oh, there's a new emblem, oh, there's a new logo, I wonder who that is. And then I looked up close and saw my name. <laughs> ah, nice surprise. was that good one Luke I didn't expect that at all <laughs> so I really appreciate that you put my emblem on the uh, <laughs> on the bag I'll have to get a real good one I've got to get a good logo made up now <laughs> but that that's awesome what you got there that looks awesome I like that definitely have to grab get a couple of these bags myself so thanks for that that was a beautiful surprise. I took a few photos as well. I know Luke told me to come down here just to take a couple of photos of some new design. So I filmed that intro at the front, not knowing what to expect. And it's funny, I walked in and I came up and I walked up and I looked and I thought, oh yeah, the bag looks similar. And I looked and I thought, oh, there's a new, there's a new um, logo on it. And then I realised it was a very familiar name, <laughs> my name on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so how cool is that? So really thanks. I've got to thank these guys here at the Bundy Bag Factory for, for doing this as well. They're, these guys have been brilliant. They've got an awesome setup here. I'm going to grab a couple of these bags and see if I can have some. <laughs> Even though if they don't have the Velcro on them. I want, to grab, I want to grab a couple of these. I can't wait to get go around and show them off. <laughs> so it's brilliant. So double thumbs up. Thanks for the nice surprise, Luke. I loved it. I honestly, I did not expect that. So that's awesome. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Hang on. See if we can fit that in. How cool of a surprise. I managed to score one of these bags. I asked them if they got a spare one and they do have a spare one. So I mean, he's actually got a couple of spare ones. They've got a second there that I might, I might actually just uh, cut out the middle. It's got a bit of mark on the side, cut that bit out and maybe even frame it up at home. So how cool is that? So you can see there, my little YouTube channel. How cool, great is that? So we've got Drifter Camp in a four-wheel drive. Mr. Buckaroonie, 
Philip Damiano, it's my YouTube channel and the drift to Stockton uh, line and of course not to forget the front so we've got still to respect the bush respect the beach two in two out <laughs> I love it <laughs> what an awesome surprise that is I still can't believe it's a nice little surprise that that bag's going to stay in my vehicle all the time I just got to get some velcro made up uh, may I get Luke or Rob to to send me a couple of few up uh, with the velcro on and that'd be cool so awesome I <laughs> can't wait to put that in action down at King Kuna or just another beach just north of King Kuna called Kuna Beach if you're in the area check it out you don't need a four-wheel drive to get there there's a little bit of dirt road there but a normal car will get through no problems if it's a bit wet, rainy, it could get a little bit slippery, but just take your time, you'll get through no problems. And you come to this really nice beach, beautiful, and it's just north of Kinkuna. And it'll give you a bit of an idea what uh, Kinkuna kind of looks like on that stretch there. Uh, have a look through there. So the, the ocean is quite well protected. We don't get a lot of the big swells because we're protected from Fraser Island. So you should check that out. So this is an uh, unexpected surprise video this one, so it's a bonus video. I had a ball uh, filming it, I took a few photos as well and once again thank you so much Luke for, the, for that nice surprise, <laughs> I loved it, that's, that's cool and as always please like this video if you like this video put a thumbs up and subscribe those who haven't subscribed yet the more people I can get to subscribe more videos I'm going to start putting out which will include some trip videos as well I haven't done many trip videos as such of late but the plans particularly if my channel starts getting more popular I'm going to start recording some of my trips that I do around the area and give you a bit of a tour around some of the campsites that I've got in this area that I go to as well as where I normally frequent down at the sunny coast hinterland and so on so I can do some trip videos uh, that way so yeah so till then till next time I've got a few more videos that are coming out that I filmed uh, when I was up at 1770 so till then take care and cheers